The plane for Master has just landed. I hope we still have a deal. Yes. You are going to pay me extra 100,000 Naira. Come on, Frankie. I thought we settled that 200,000 Naira, which I've already given to you. Unless you want your friend to go back to jail here. Oh, Frankie, you know he has finished serving his jail term there in Europe for the offense he committed. Look, that may be so. But the Drug Law Enforcement Agency are still interested in this case. And you know that. Frankie, please help us out, please. Serving in jail for five years. I wouldn't like him to continue again, please. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want my boss to see us here. Now drive down the road and wait for me there. I'll come with your friend, okay? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Someone from jail. Oh, okay. oh. Come on. <laughs> hey, you guys have to leave here at once before security operatives begins to ask questions, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you, officer. Thank you so much. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Frankie, come on. I get into this drive, man. You're welcome home. <laughs> making this meeting given the short notice. Thank you. Thank you. Considering the issue at hand, it has become important to call to your attention our proposed deal with GMV. We will no longer go ahead with it as planned. And the committed fund must be retrieved. Yeah. But Ma, GMV holds more prospects for us on this deal. GMV is a falling tree, a disaster waiting to happen. But madam, the reti retired general Abubakar promised us... The retired general is the reason why we are withdrawing. I have hints that he's going to be picked up by the EFCC. That is just a mere propaganda to turn our minds off this lucrative deal. We have invested $900,000 for this deal. And if Abubakar is indicted, we will lose everything. So I suggest that we put that money in Union Homes Estate. I disagree, madam. This is a conspiracy. And I know who is behind this. You are far from the truth, Mr. Robert. I brought the GMV deal and now somebody here wants to take it over to Union Homes so that my commission will be his. This will not happen. I assure you, Mr. Robert, that that is not the truth. I have worked for your father for over 10 years now. When you were there, Mr. Robert, I am not about to entertain a history lesson at this point in time. The reason why you are here is you work for me and not my father. I say we are not going ahead with this deal, and that is final. That will be all from me, as I leave you all to work out the modalities for this official plan. Good day, everyone. Here for 
Shalom. Not quite. Good sir. Oh boy. I'm tired. You look a bit strained. Mom, I'm just coming from the construction site. I had to source some materials and I also had a meeting with the management committee, so I'm totally knackered. What is it, Mom? Elena, you don't belong here. I mean, this is not the place for you. What you need is a fine young man who will marry you and make you the mother of his children, my grandchildren. Mama, I made a promise to Dad on his deathbed. Oh, father. stop that, Elena, please. Your father has done all the work and made all the money. We don't need any more money. All we need is happiness. I know where this is going. Miss Stanley and I are still together. No, you're not. You have kicked Stanley to the side, just to focus attention on this company. Just in case you don't know, young lady, there is a height a woman attains in the corporate world and men who get scared of her. Well, that's their problem. As for me, everything is fine. <sighs> yes, everything is fine. But my only problem is you. Me? How can I be your problem? Elena, you are too young and fragile for this. I know you love your father so much. And you decided to keep his office just because it reminds you of him. But you know what? Even if he were alive today, he would have told you the very same thing. Mom, the project is going to be completed in six months. Stanley and I will get married afterwards. Six months? Six months is too long. Twice. Twice you have postponed the wedding pending the, the completion of your father's housing project. Twice! Mama, I'm the only son and daughter that daddy has. I have to finish that project. Adina. Stanley's people love me like a sister. His mother was with me when I had you through surgery. And so I know she loves you just as much as I do. Stanley is a nice man. And he is all that your father would have ever wanted in a son. You said he loves you, don't you? Yes, Mama. And I love him too. So you see, there's nothing to worry about. What would be will certainly be, Mama. I love you, Mommy. I love you, too. Okay. Are you looking smashing today? Oh, thank you, my love. <laughs> I went to have lunch with an old friend of mine. And I know I've spent the whole day out, but I really feel good. <laughs> oh, my God. Everything, everything that I want from Europe. I have everything worked out. I don't know how I let those guys get me into jail. Come on, Max. That shouldn't bother you anymore. All you should be thinking about now is how to start life afresh. Okay? Look, can you get me a new passport back to Europe? Be serious. What are you rushing back to Europe to do so soon? Come on, you can establish here. Establish? Establish with what? You need money to establish, and I'm dead broke. Okay, can you help me sell my house? That 
bungalow is the only thing you have left. Besides, you still have tenants in there. No, I don't care about the tenants. Just, just sell it, man. Sell it at a good price. I need the money, Daniel. You know, maybe I can establish an import, export business using some contacts I have in Europe. Okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do. But in the meantime, you just have to relax, okay? Free your mind, drive around town, and then you get refreshed. Right? Drive around town? Drive around town with what? Come on, Max, my car is there. You can always make use of it, okay? Maxwell, Federpoli. Oh my God, Maxwell! Is that you? Come yes, here. Yes, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I thought you were in Europe. Yes, I was in Europe. I actually just came back. Oh, welcome back. Thank, thank you. Welcome. Look at you. You look good. I do. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you've really changed. I have. Yes. Then how come you recognize me if I've changed? Well, from behind, you look like some very beautiful girl until I got close and so was you. It's me. <laughs> hey, how have you been? I've been okay. Uh, it's just that I, I lost my dad. Oh, sad. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. <laughs> so, where are you? What, what are you doing? What are you up to? Well, you can say I'm back for good, trying to set up some business here. Oh, that's cool. Let me give you my card then, so okay. we can be in contact, you know? Contact right. is very important. <laughs> there you are. Ah, okay. So please, let's hook up, huh? <laughs> I'll definitely give you a call. Right, Maybe you can show me around sometime. Exactly, I wouldn't mind. Okay. All right then, you take All care. Right, then. You too, Bye. take care. <laughs> Out for long. Yeah. Have you made any arrangements about the house? 
Yes, but I'm taking my time. You know these agents. Once they realize you're in a hurry to sell off your property, they'll be offering you peanuts. No, I ain't taking peanuts, man. I need a good deal on that house. Max, why don't you come over to my house and stay and wasting money here in a hotel? Come on, Dan. You know my style. I don't like charity, man. That reminds me. Um, do you know this company? I think they're into real estate. Max, this is one of the richest construction and estate management companies here in the country. Where did you get this card from? An old friend. The owner of this company was a former petroleum minister, though he's dead now. Wait, wait. You mean Elena's father was a minister in this country? No, 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 no. I don't know about Elena. All I know is that the owner of this company was a minister. <laughs> I've been out of this country for too long. Yeah, maybe she can help us sell the house. No, 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 no. Don't even talk about that. This company does not buy or sell single bungalows. Okay? It's been not to them. This company constructs buy and sell estates. The last estate they sold publicly contained 80 twin duplexes here in Abuja. You don't say. She might be an old friend of yours. But if this Elena you're talking about is the daughter of this late chief and Bono, I tell you what, Mas, she's one of the richest single girls in this part of the world. You know that address, right? I need to get there. Yeah, no problem. I'll take you there anytime you're ready. Okay. You want to have your card? I actually run a partnership with a pharmaceutical company in Europe. Okay. Hmm. But I thought you studied marketing or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I actually handle the marketing aspect of the partnership. Hmm. Is it any drug I've heard about? Um, well, maybe not. I don't think so because for now we only operate in South Africa. Why don't you try the Nigerian market? Well, we're looking into that. You know, that's actually why I'm back home. I'm conducting some feasibility survey. Well. Going by my experience, I would say our business climate is quite frustrating and competitive. Ah, oh, you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed. Well, I'm sure we'll find a way around it. Of course, of course. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, so what do you think? You think we could have lunch sometime? <laughs> I actually feel like a client sitting here. I understand. Uh, perhaps one of these days? Okay then, I'll take you on that. Okay, you hold me to it. Okay. <laughs> Look, Elena, it was really nice seeing you it's again. It's nice seeing you again, Maxwell. Oh, Take good. care of yourself. You too. Peace. Have a nice day. Is 15 million. Should I go ahead and sell? Sell it. Max, your mind is not here. What is it? Nothing. Um, 
Just thinking. Come on, Max. Your nightmares are over. You have a new life in front of you. You don't need anything to worry about. It's Elena I'm thinking about. You know, my mind has just been roving around her all day. You're thinking of dating her? I'm thinking of marrying her. Say what? Marrying her? Is this a daydream or just a joke? Why did you say that? You just came back from prison in Europe. You've not established anything yet and you're thinking about marrying Elena. Knowing her social class. Oh, come on, Max. Daniel, have you seen what that girl is sitting on? What? Do you know what she's sitting on? And she's an only child. I mean, whoever marries her gets everything. And you think you own everything the family has by just marrying her? If I marry her, I become the family. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll let that pass, okay? But the question is, did she tell you she's in desperate search of a husband? Because for me, I don't think so. Look, a girl like Elena can never be desperate for a husband. Now, since you are not Prince Charming or the God of Marriage, how do you get her to say, I do? By wooing her, of course. I need to woo her. You know, I need to draw her into the sweetness of relationships. I need to put a plan in motion to win her over. <sighs> Honestly, Max, I think I'm going to have difficulties in understanding you on this issue. Look, Daniel, don't worry yourself about that, okay? Just sell the house. I need the cash. Get yourself a drink, man. Okay. More of this, I guess. Whatever you want. Okay.
Max! Something important just happened. I need your help right away. Tell me, what's going on? Man, you remember that guy I told you about? The one that betrayed me and set me up. You mean... The one that made you go to jail in Europe? That's right. Guess what? What? I just saw him now. You can't be serious, man. It couldn't be him. Come on, look at you. I know Kelvin. I just saw Kelvin now. What he told me is a Ghanaian. Well, he apparently lied about his identity. Are you I saw that fool now. I saw that fool spending my money. My hard-earned money. While I got to jail. Max, are you sure about this? Man, absolutely. I know this guy like the back of my palms, man. I know this guy. I saw him. He's at the hotel right now. So, what do you want to do now? There are a million things I can think about. It's time for him to meet his nemesis. Okay then, just hang up for me, okay? Are you sure he's in this hotel? Yeah, I'm definitely sure. I trailed him to this place. And so, what do we do? I think we should go in there. Still alive. Ever heard of the resurrection? Okay. Let's go. Let's let, get into the car. Okay. Let's let's get. Okay. You know it, but the cops 
The cops were after me. The cops were after you? The cops were after you when it was you who gave me up to them. The moment I was arrested, you took off with my mom and you came back to this country. Carrying yourself around like some big boy, yeah? Telling people that I was dead. Maxi dead? Do I look dead to you? Do I look dead? Do I look dead? No, 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 It was Celestine. It was Celestine. It was not Celestine's idea. I swear, Max. It was Celestine. He planned it all, I swear. I swear. I trusted you, Chloe. <laughs> took you to me. Handed over my business to you. What did you do? Huh? You turn around and poison me. Sure you know what this is. Hey, Max. Max. Max, you're my jam manager, you know. Max. I've got some poison for you. seen you for quite some time and it's not funny as if we don't talk on the phone oh come on that's not the same thing as seeing you you're not always in the office even when you're there you're there in this meeting or the other meeting come on why are you talking as if i've omitted you out of my life oh that's exactly how i feel and i know i'm right ah elena i thought i heard someone right how are good you afternoon, man. good afternoon good good Mm, you're certainly putting on some weight. On the contrary, my mom actually thinks I've lost so much weight. Shucks. How is she? She's fine and she sends her greetings. Mm. Well, Elena, are you two going to stand out here all day or are you going to come in and do justice to my lunch? You know what? You're just in time for lunch. Come on. Mm. As long as it's from mom, <laughs> I ain't got no choice. <laughs> Two days here. 
My fitness exercise will be hmm. thrown out of the window. I didn't know men were that interested in losing weight. <laughs> Don't mind them. Once they start and they start thinking of other serious issues, they forget all about it. By the way, how did Senegal go? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Senegal? What's in Senegal? There's this um, friend of mine who just uh, opened up a petrochemical factory and wants me to help him get the connection on how to lift um, byproducts from NNPC. Oh, but uh, Senegal, you don't know how to speak any French, do you? No, I'm not going to live there, even though I know how to speak a little of French, mm. like comme ça. Comme ça. <laughs> By the way, Mom, mm. um, I'm going to have to go later on with Stanley to see his mom because I promised that I'd help her out. Oh, okay. Well, make sure you give her my love. Right? And I will do. Okay. After you have finished your food. Of course, Mother. <laughs> mom, hmm? please, you must teach Elena the recipe for this sumptuous meal. And what makes you think I don't know how to cook it? Well, want to cook for me? Right now, the only person who knows how to do it, it's mom. Makes me feel good, but you have to finish your food. Mm. <laughs> you ready? Baby. What's up with you? I'm good. Alright. Are you set? Yeah, almost. <laughs> okay, oh. Baby. I've been thinking. Thinking what? You know, having our wedding on your mother's birthday will certainly be an honor. But that's two months from now. Sure, I know. I have some weddings planned on as you keep it under one month. Do you have to pressurize me about this issue again? Alina, it's not that. It's just that each moment that passes by, I feel I get scared that perhaps you could just make a That there. what? That I may just go off you or something? Oh, come on, Stanley. I like you as a person. And I know in my heart that I'm going to grow to love you as a husband. But this is just... <laughs> perhaps you work too much. It's more than work to me. It's protecting my father's legacy. Baby, calm. See... You can always do that, even while we are married. Stanley, I made a choice. And that choice is you. Right now, I need you to prove to me that you're going to understand me as your wife-to-be. Of course I do, completely. But it's just that... I don't know. You know what? You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Sure. Of course I'm sure. <laughs> All right, I so. Look, we better get a move on or else your mom's going to freak out. And we don't want that, do we? All right, let's go. You know what your problem is? Worry too damn much. Like what I'm doing? Of course, you're great. Nice and white too. Thanks. So, what do you say? Maxwell, this is too much. That's all this. Tell me, Maxwell, how much did all this cost you? Well, the rent alone is a million per annum. A million per annum? Come on, Maxwell, why spend that kind of money? I'm sowing a seed, Daniel. A seed? What seed? I thought we agreed you rent a two-bedroom flat and then use the rest of the money for your business. You don't understand that. Look, there is no way that I'm going to let Adina see me in a two-bedroom flat. I need to impress her, man. You know what I'm saying? 
So it's all about Elena. Is it Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. You see, a lion only respects a fellow lion. So I need to prove to Elena that I am a lion like her, not a lion. Does it really matter? Believe me, it does. It does. Come on, relax. You see, Maxi is back on track. Okay? <laughs> Look, let me officially welcome you to my house. Oh, Brandy? Yeah, I don't mind. Oh, okay. Right. You relax. Okay. I still got loads of stuff to unpack. So all the drinks are back in there. <laughs> Wow, I'm sure they're from Stanley. You didn't say who they're from. Really? Well, oh, that's okay. You may go now. Thank you. Hmm. Flowers and a card from Maxwell.
work. What an unexpected visit. Good to see you. Good to see you. Mm. Have you been? Fine. Looks like you're on your way out. Yes, I am actually. I'm on my lunch break. Ooh, perfect timing then. For? Well, I was worried you might not have time to have lunch with me. By the way, thank you so much for the cards and the flowers. I think that was very sweet of you. You like them? Mm-hmm. Okay, you prove that by having lunch with me right away. Uh, my time is quite constrained at the moment, and I've got lots of errands to run and stuff, you know. Oh, come on, this is me, okay, not some job seeker or a client. 30 minutes, one hour tops. Mm. You have nothing to lose. Okay, I'll squeeze you in somehow. Come on, let's go. That's so sweet of you. I know just the place to take you. Test of um, quality wine will open up the appetite. <laughs> I'm sure you know that I do drive, and I don't find alcohol an appetite enhancer. Come on, it's just wine. So let's see. You've taken out time to wine me and dine me. You even threw in a romantic gift. Which woman gave you permission to flirt like this? Flirt? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not flirting with you, Elena. And if you must know, I have no woman in my life. Why is that? Women don't find you attractive? I don't know. But I'm not going to sit around and wait for some woman to find me attractive. Oh, so you blow your own horn? No, more like seeking my soulmate and never letting go. Hmm. You know, since the day I saw you at the supermarket, I found it very difficult to take my mind off you. Why would your thoughts be on me? You hardly even know me. I love you, Elena. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maxwell, but it can't work. Why, you think I'm some kind of playboy? Oh, on the contrary. It's just that I'm engaged to someone else. Alina, all I'm asking for is a chance, okay? Just give me a chance to prove to you that I am the best man for you. <laughs> we would have already been married, if not for the untimely death of my dad, which put everything on hold. You see? That's what I'm saying. That was destiny asking you to hold on for me. Maxwell, don't be sad, okay? I'm sure you would find someone that's equally suitable for you. You, I won't tell you now. Maxwell, it can't work. That's it. I'm really sorry. I hope we can still be friends. Okay, just, just tell me you think about it. You know what? I need to be back at the office. So, uh, could we get moving? Shall we?
Is there anything in the office? Uh, not right now, but she's within the premises. Would you like to wait? Yeah, I'll wait okay. for her. Okay, the door is open. Hello. Who is this? The leader who was the man. Excuse me? Do not pretend like you don't know. So Elena, you have another man in your life. Is this some kind of joke or what? No, you tell me. Tell me who is this new man that is in, is been even sending you flowers and cards. So this is the reason why you're spending our wedding. I'm not having an affair with Maxwell, if that's what you think. I see. His name is Maxwell. Now tell me, what are you doing with him? Just a fling? How dare you, Stanley? Well, I don't think I have the time to sit down here and discuss this issue with you. It's your life. You take all the decisions. But don't forget. Someone else is taking all the punches. just have to relax and refocus. See, there's no how a girl like Elena would not have someone in her life. You know that Max does not run away from a fight. See, what I wouldn't want you to do is to waste your precious time, emotion and the little resources you have. I'm not giving up Elena. You know, that chick is a gold mine. I'm not going to run away just because some fool has managed to skim his way into her heart. And, um, supposing she continues to say no? Well, you know, Max does not take no for an answer. Especially not from a girl like Elena. But I'm not bothered about her, you know. It's the man I'm bothered about. I need to know that man. I need to know that man who's turning her brain around. You know? I need to get him out of the picture. Uh, wait a minute. You mean getting him out of the picture for real? Yeah. At all cost. You know? At all cost. Look, Daniel. Have you ever sat down? to imagine the amount of dough that chick is sitting on. Have you ever thought about it? Do you know what I can do with that amount of money? Come on, man. Look, this is the fastest way for Max to get back to Max. 
Right? This is just a game, man. I'm not going to sit around and let that fool outsmart me. You know what I'm saying? I need to marry that girl. <laughs> wait, 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 Max. Take it or you leave it. This is home and not Europe. Exactly my point. Exactly my point. This is home. I need to win at home. You know, it's understandable if you lose an away match. I have lost all my away matches. I can't come back home and lose. What do I tell the supporters club? Oh, think about it, man. Come on, Max. What is wrong with you? No, no, you think about it, Daniel. If I come home and I tell you that after losing all that, I come and lose at home. <laughs> you, say, you know what? I never thought of that. Oh, wait, really, man. What do you want? I know what you're thinking and feeling, but everything is not what it seems. Elena, I could hardly get you to have lunch with me because of your beauty skill in the office. But there you were, having lunch with another man, sending you cats, flowers. I'm not having an affair with him, okay? He's an old friend that I've not seen in a long while. I was on my way to lunch at the time. The flowers, the cat, what are they for? Okay, he proposed to me, but I said no, because of you. Oh, really? Really? Darling, you've shown me nothing but patience and support and understanding. Even during my most trying times. You're a part of me. How could you even think that I would hurt you? Elena, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. The only one I think and dream of. I can't stop imagining a beautiful home just you and I, with our kids, happy together. isn't complete without you. It will be a resounding nightmare should things turn otherwise. Please, do not let anybody come between us. Just called. Oh, you know what? I'm on my lunch break now, so tell the secretary that she should schedule another appointment for 10 o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, okay, ma'am. Right, thank Thanks. you. Yeah. Towards you are good intentions. I know that, Maxwell. 
But it's too late now. My wedding has been rescheduled closer. Maxwell, meet Stanley, my fiancé. Hi, Maxwell. How are you doing? Yeah, Elena told me you're an old friend. I'm sure she has invited you to our wedding. Please do endeavor to come. It will be my pleasure to host you. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll try and be there. Good. Honey, change of plans. An aunt of mine just came into town, and um, she's been dying to see you. So I arranged for lunch at my place. How about that? Sounds good. All right. Max, it will be fine to keep my aunt waiting. So, shall we? Sure. All right. Well, Max. I'll see, see you some other time, okay? Maxwell is in the country. Maxwell? Yeah, I think I've seen him around. Did you warn Kevin about him? Why should I? Are you insane? Maxwell of all people is in the country and you couldn't even warn Kevin or I. I don't know what you're talking about. I thought you said you were friends way back in Europe. His hands. What are you talking about? Kevin, dead? Stop it. Just stop it. Kevin is not dead. It can't be! I went to his hotel. He was not there. I searched everywhere, but to no avail. It was later that the police announced his death on the television. Maxwell. 
after you? Are you insinuating that Maxwell killed him? Let's say it's something you don't have to know. Since you don't know. But I want to know where I can find Maxwell now. I don't know. I don't know much about him. I search for a friend of his, Daniel. Where can I find his, Daniel? Scotland Avenue. Number 66 Scotland Avenue, Zone 7. Right. Celestin, so Celestin, so don't do anything rash. Nice to meet you. So all the details that you need are in there. You just make sure you deliver a good job. Okay. <coughs> no problem. My fee is five hundred thousand dollars. And if I deliver, I would like to leave with my money. It's all right. Uh, Daniel already has some upfront for you. The moment you deliver, you get your balance. Okay? Sure. Yeah, sure. Are you okay with that? You don't have any problem. Your money is sure. Okay? And consider it done. So I'll be waiting to hear from you. My mom just called me. She said she's coming into town, you know, so I was thinking, oh, why don't I just park the car in your compound while I leave for Potaka and then you pick her up from the airport. 
Oh, that's alright. Go ahead. What do you mean, they? Actually, there's a slim pretty girl I joined him while he was leaving. So, there's nothing I could do. Because I feel sorry for her. Oh my god, I hope it was not Elena. Oh. No, Glitter, tell me. Where are the bodies right now? At the accident scene along the upper road. There was no way I could stop her. Look, I had a job to do. So? I had a job to do. Oh my god. Uh, my, 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 my money? What about my money? I I hope Maxwell doesn't do anything. I'm talking about my money. Cletus. You messed up a job and you're asking me about your money! Are you out of your mind? My money. Don't you ever tell me anything about money! Danny, my money.
Hello? Margaret, is Alina there in the office? No, she wasn't at the airport. Is she in any meeting you're aware of? I see. Please, when she calls you, ask her to give me a call, okay? Um, her phone is not going through. It's not reachable. Okay. Thank you. Yes? Come in. Okay. Can I help you? I guess Alina lives here. Yes, she does. But she's not at home at the moment. Yes, I know. Uh, you must be the mother. Yes, I am. Um, <clears throat> I'm afraid there's a problem. What problem? Elena was involved in an accident. Elena, my own daughter. Oh, where is she? She's at the hospital. Oh my god. Oh my god. I is she alright? Um, doctor says she'll be fine. God. Please, take me to her immediately, please. She suffered a great hit on the head and that left her unconscious. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. How long will she be like this? Uh, well, I'm not too sure for now, but um, the most important thing is to allow her to rest. You see, you should be thanking God that she survived. Accidents such as she was involved in are usually very fatal. It's okay. Uh, let's go to my office so that we can talk. Oh, my baby. It's okay, huh? It's all right. It's okay. Alina. Alina. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Actually on my way to the airport when I noticed there was a car in the ditch and then I pulled over hoping to find some uh, survivors. On getting there I saw there was a man and a woman. The woman was still breathing mm -hmm. but the man, the man was lying very still. Mm -hmm. yes. So and then there was no one else around to help so I carried the woman and put her in my car and then I brought her to this place. Any idea who the man was? Uh, when our team got to the crash site, the man was already dead. Oh. We later found out from his driving license that his name is um, Stanley Madden. Oh my God, no! Not, not Stanley! You know him? Oh God, no! Oh no! Stanley was her fiance. They were supposed to get married a month away from today. Sorry about that, madam. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Oh. Pull yourself together, alright? 
You see, your daughter needs all the strength and support she can get from you right now to recover very quickly. You know? So be strong. It's okay. Oh my God. It's okay. It's okay. saving my daughter's life. If you hadn't come when you did, perhaps we'd have been telling a different story by now. Well, I'll just say it is the will of God. Where is she? She's, she's still like that. No change. Will she be all right? I'm sure she'll be all right. Madam, your daughter needs all the rest she can get at this moment without any form of disturbance. I'm so worried, Doctor. I'm, I'm worried. She hasn't moved an eye, lid, not even a word. She will when the time comes. Meanwhile, the results of the brain scan we had yesterday is out. And, um, there is something I would like to discuss with you. But that would be in my office. Is that right? Can we go now? Yeah. As a result of the impact of the accident on your daughter's head, she suffered amnesia. Now, whether it's going to be temporary or permanent, uh, we cannot determine for now. Um, I'm not sure I understand, Doctor. It simply means that when your daughter wakes up, she's going to suffer great memory loss. She will hardly remember anything. Her name, who she is, what happened, or even who you are. Who I am? Oh, yes. Talk to me. Her entire memory has been wiped out. Um, wiped out is not the right word. I would rather say it's a temporary loss of memory which she will recover from later. Yes. Uh, Doctor, we can remind her about her past or anything she may have forgotten. Oh, uh, no. Is it trying to wake up her memory will only uh, cause the brain to react violently, trying to catch up. Oh my God. Yes. In the process, it may cause a serious brain damage, which may either lead to insanity or serious brain hemorrhage capable of taking one's life. Oh my God. Elena is all I have, Doctor. I can't lose her or have her wrong mad. I'd rather kill myself. No, no, you wouldn't do that. <laughs> That's why it's important that um, the necessary things is done. But some things like what? Uh, no one should try to remind her of the past or even bring anything close to her that will remind her of the past. In fact, when your daughter wakes up, the best thing to do is to um, take her to a new place or even a new city. There she will start a new life, grow a new memory, that will strengthen her brain until such a time when she's medically sound to be able to retrace her past. A new place in a new city? Oh yes. As a matter of fact, it will go a long way to protect your daughter's life as well as to heal her quickly. Okay. Mm. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> 